right, so the next choke, we're gonna use the same setup as our cross choke. Uh, we're gonna do kata hajime, which is a single wing choke. For this, um, we're still going to attack the cross choke first, and we're gonna make him start to defend that so that we can gain access to his elbow, so we can open his arm up and bring it behind his head for this. So it's the exact same setup where I start in back control and I have a two on one. You might even already have a cross collar choke set up, but maybe he was fighting your wrist already, or maybe you just had it too low. But for now, we're gonna stay on the two on one, okay? I'm gonna, again, fall towards the overhook side, and that's the side I dictate he leaves towards. I kick him free, and I start adjusting the collar as I turn. Again, folding the inside, so it's just the seam cutting across his throat. I'm gonna build my base and drive him forward while I make my knee pillow. I step over his belly, heel to hip. My right hand, again, adjusts the collar. I'm gonna go underneath to the bottom side now. And again, I open my left foot, I fall into the hip, and I start to close this over. Now, he might be fighting my wrist, and I can't get this cross choke going. So what we're gonna do is focus on opening Kyle's elbow. Um, normally, people tend to bring this hand up, and they try to fight straight behind his head, but his armpit is in the way. His armpit and his shoulder create a ceiling where my hand can't continue up anymore. So there's plenty of space out by his elbow. It also happens to be the end of the lever and where he's the weakest. So instead of reaching for behind Kyle's head, I want you to think about bringing your hand around to the outside of your head, your own head. So I bring this out and I keep pinching your elbow down and now I can lift it up and out. I'm gonna put it behind his head and if I can reach my own arm, under is significantly tighter, okay? Come around this way so you can see. Sorry, I'm trying to relax the choke for you. So if I can reach this on top of my forearm, this is pretty tight, but if I can put it under, it is much tighter. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're back to the two on one here. And again, if I can, I'm gonna fold the collar before I even grab it, and we're gonna hold tight. I fall towards the overhook side, I pummel my top foot behind his waist and I begin to kick him free. As he starts to escape, I belly out, already beginning my adjustment to the collar. I drive in and turn him to his side. Left leg knee pillow, right leg heel to hip. I skip to the bottom collar, open my left heel, fall to the right pocket, and I cross my feet. Again, I wanna try this cross choke, but it's not working. So I'm gonna come out to the elbow and I'm gonna bring it out towards the outside of my head and then across. If he's really strong here, I wanna grab his wrist and I'm gonna, uh, the meaty part of his pinky, not even his wrist, I'm gonna grab his hand. And I'm gonna rotate his palm towards my feet. That action will help me lift his elbow with my elbow. So if he's here, don't let me lift. He's strong, I open his wrist, I raise his elbow, I circle around. And again, if I can, under my arm and we finish the choke.